project is a non-profit foundation about visual art and photography. If you want to help us, just drop a donation on buymeacoffee.com slash Berlin Explorer. Welcome to this 50 minute of experience. Today I'm with Sonia Leppanen in uh, art on Instagram, Bob Tempera. Welcome, Sonia. Thank you very much. So as you know, I will like, uh, uh, if you can introduce a bit of yourself, uh, don't reserve, I, I mean, uh, not only as a photographer, but even uh, also as a human in this case. Yes, I'm Sonia Leppanen from Finland. I live in Helsinki and um, I work as a freelance photographer. And my I have an Instagram, <laughs> which is called Bob Tempera. And um, I do my photographic uh, projects in the Individually, independently, but I also work in a, a different kind of cultural projects, yeah. uh, which is a little bit different kind of work. Okay. Uh, so, I have worked in museums and and uh, different types of um, cultural and so social projects. Okay, so uh, so let's keep this uh, this uh, from this topic uh, to talk about what kind of uh, social uh, project you work on. Uh, the one was um, kind of a um, multidisciplinary project, which we were doing in many uh, municipalities of Finland, and uh, the aim was to uh, promote public art. Mm -hmm. and um, improve the uh, processes to make public art in the municipalities and in the city planning and mm -hmm. construction industry. And one was, uh, I was working in a museum uh, with the volunteers and I was trying to de develop uh, the voluntary work in the museums. This is nice. Yeah, I think I think it's a, it's a really nice to, uh, uh, a work. Uh, uh, I I will suggest to to everyone. I mean, would be I think a better work if uh, everyone would uh, suggest to improve uh, the experience and the, the communication of others, and uh, without really looking uh, uh, so fast at the, the part of uh, how much you get. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, because yeah, in a way or another, yeah. Uh, even if you, I mean, yeah, you you got the point. Uh, anyway, so let's let's uh, let's uh, talk about a bit about uh, your photography. Your uh, your style is uh, really interesting, particular, and uh, uh, not common. I would say that uh, I like a lot. Uh, it's something in a way totally away from uh, me as a photographer, but much more close to me as a probably graphic designer and uh, um, I, I will I'm really interested to know how did you start uh, when when started to to develop in that way with uh, a lot of these colors a lot of these uh, uh, scenes and still life construction and even uh, uh, some uh, uh, portrait uh, are in that way hmm. uh, I guess I started this kind of style about five, six years ago. And I, I guess I just got the inspiration from uh, fashion and from uh, pop art and all kinds of perhaps magazines and films that inspire me. So I wanted to create something a little bit similar, but also uh, create something uh, very original and something that's not done before hmm. but i i like to take inspiration from many many things that i see and i i find interesting and um perhaps the still life idea was uh was because um i like to photograph at home and uh, 
I don't have any specific studio where to take like a wider and <laughs> bigger yeah. photograph. So I like to keep it simple and just create some very small uh, sceneries where I create this small story in the yeah. still life. And, and, uh, and how do you choose usually the subject? I mean, in this case, object, uh, uh, they are most of the time your subject. Uh, uh, and uh, how how it's composed in a way that, that it's something come from uh, some ideas and then you build uh, these ideas in a way or it's more like oh I like how I don't know this bag could be with these other things and then yeah I put a bit together and then uh, let's see let's try you know and uh, and go on how does it work that well I I guess I have some kind of uh, picture in my head first and I also like to go into the some kind of um, historical or vintage world. So I, I choose the object so that they all together build the picture and the story so that I cannot just put anything there <laughs> and mm -hmm. it doesn't look good. But I try to compose kind of um, entity that looks okay. like a some kind of old-fashioned yeah um, still life and uh, uh do you usually uh i don't know if you ever made a uh, work like that for a client uh did you uh no no i i will i will uh, really propose to someone <laughs> to doing some work with you because i mean there is a lot i mean now i was thinking how much will be cool to have a book of, I don't know, recipe uh, with this style? Yeah, I have uh, also thought that maybe some recipe uh, book or or anything, like some notebook could be nice with hmm. with pictures like this. Yeah, I was, I was exactly thinking about a recipe book because it's not only the final process of the, let's say, a cake, no, for example. But uh, also the even the the preparation made in mm. a set in a set like this full of color uh, really pop. Uh, but in a way we don't have any I think example uh, in the seventy or sixty or fifty. Also they they use it a bit of this uh, style uh, mm. improved in that way, you know. And uh, even uh, some object that probably they could not uh, really be related to the uh, related to the um, the recipe in this case uh the recipe uh practically will be i think uh really nice together in the in the contents mm -hmm. uh, yeah i think it's it's re really uh not uh, sometimes can can be uh probably repetitive you know the the scenery but uh, I think uh, it's uh, never really repetitive in a way and, uh, and it's full of details. I really like the communication is created in, the, in this kind of work you do it. And um, let's, let's, let's talk a bit about uh, um, when, when you have subject, uh, so human, we can say in this case, mm -hmm. because also objects are subject. No? Yeah. Um, uh, what what kind of uh, um, experience you try to to you try or you do it uh, usually in your picture and how do you approach with them how do you communicate with them what uh, what is the kind of connection you have with them uh, do you mean like the um, people in the yeah. picture yeah yeah well uh, it's usually I haven't really used any models or any any like <laughs> people in my pictures it's usually just my my hands or me in the picture so it's, it's kind of experience try to be the uh, protagonist in, in my own pictures but I don't want to be like too clear in the pictures it, it, it the, the main person in the picture is usually a little bit mysterious and and that way okay no, because yeah. because i was watching the 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 work on your website uh, between the 2013 and 2015 
and they saw a subject, uh, so a, a person. And, yeah, uh, they're own be own pictures. I have also used some of my friends as models. <laughs> so, so what what uh, uh, do you think is is uh, 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 mainly, mainly uh, probably a research you want to keep to to doing uh, in your uh, for communication as a photographer in this case. What would you like to expect to experience in the in the future? In the future. Yeah, in the near future. I I'm not mm. talking about. Well, I guess I would like to develop uh, this style maybe further, but but I'm also. Maybe today I'm I'm also more and more interested in nature, so maybe yeah. I could try something completely different. Okay. Uh, maybe photographing more nature and maybe architecture and I don't know as a, uh, outdoors <laughs> instead of is a, is a um, bit photographing. Uh, it's a bit of time I don't do it in the podcast, uh, but in in the start of the podcast I was challenging a bit to the people no uh then say let's say i never saw any uh result of this challenge but it's okay i'm in a, in, the, in the talk i think it's always nice to suggest some ideas then these ideas can create other ideas but i think your work will be also really nice uh, combined with uh, some uh, uh probably uh nude body or uh, even using uh, nature as you said but mm -hmm. in this case also using uh, the artificial in the nature, no? So combining yeah. the, in a way to probably hiding them and uh, creating some kind of communication in the tales of uh, something is hide, no? And uh, even uh, uh, I I really uh, think uh, that uh, could be really interesting to see how many connections you can find between uh, every product so you usually see in the supermarket, no? Uh, how they can be combined together in a visual way, you know what I mean. And even I will challenge you to 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 research much more uh, also in the in the public space. Yeah. Uh, so make, making the public space a research of uh, uh, how much is is, is colorful. It can be colorful uh, uh, a city or a village or uh, a, I don't know a shop you know I think will be will be great uh, as I said before uh, if you will approach to a kind of client who can see a client a customer mm -hmm. that uh, that uh, can provide you uh, some new object that you never had or some design object uh, because uh, this kind of pictures, uh, will be also really more, much more than uh, only uh, showing an advertise, uh, but mm. also to make a kind of uh, um, visual communication uh, uh, more uh, intrusive, more detailed uh, of a product, and give uh, an idea is behind the product. No? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I hope you you find the customers uh, that they think. Uh, like me in that way in this in this moment and uh, and they will do it that yeah i guess yeah, i would like to maybe so, try yeah. some kind of um mixture with with my pop art uh kitsch style and and the nature perhaps i don't so, know if you know if you know uh there is a, a page on instagram is uh from some uh I would say friend uh, that uh, photographer I have met uh, here in this podcast uh, his name is Kitchography and uh, they are collecting uh, slowly every of this uh, uh, kitsch photography from all over the world it's really nice I mean it's not a project they are just uh, creating a page uh, uh, resharing the picture of every kitscher uh, photographer mm -hmm. yes I know them so uh, I thank you a lot for your time, Sonia, and uh, uh, I hope to collaborate with you probably for some publication in the future yeah. uh, to make more colorful. Uh, I mean, it will be difficult because I'm doing <laughs> the I'm doing the collection of uh, of uh, a main color, but I think yeah, uh, there is something really uh, fit can fit good in some collection, 
And uh, if anyone wants to see the, the work of uh, uh, Sonia, uh, is the link in the description. And thank you again a lot. Thank you very much. <laughs> it was nice to discuss about these things. Thank you for listening to this podcast. And if you want to learn more about us, you can visit the link allmylinks.com, Berlin Explorer, or our website, bxproject.com. And if you want to follow us, you can always get news from Instagram on our account, bxproject. Thank you again, and see you in the next episode.